The bronze division champion approaches. I hope you're ready for the challenge awaiting you in the silver division. Remember, Soldier's the champion at this level. He'll be watching you. Dogs nipping at my heels aren't worthy of watching. What do you need? Now that you are champion of the bronze division, the silver division awaits. It seems that, indirectly, this serpent has decided to keep your career interesting. A demon has been added to the regular roster since your earlier victory. And since you've shown aptitude, I'm letting you face him first. This is indeed an honor, though it will not be easy. Are you ready to defeat this horror? Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. Will the demon rend flesh from bone, or will a lone warrior prove stronger? Another demon falls! We shall have to add a new division for you alone if this keeps up. Kylon the Serpent wishes to speak with you personally. This is a rare honor. Do try to be polite. You have already been granted access to the back room of the arena, and the Serpent's private chamber is just off of it. You may as well go now and see what he wants. Oh, and one other thing. The Serpent has requested that you visitate him alone. I know you usually have a friend with you, but they'll have to remain behind for this meeting. We should have told you that Kylan will only see you alone. Are you ready to go in now? I'll wait out front with the others if you need me. Be careful. I don't trust this situation at all. It is vital that we talk a moment. You handled yourself well against the demonic servitor. It was a rewarding experience for us both, I'm sure. Take this as my thanks. You are a young man, but I know you have the wisdom to see that my friendship has advantages. You may find that certain opportunities, mutually rewarding arrangements between us, will come your way in the near future. Cheat is such a pedestrian term. I prefer to think of myself as a creative engineer. Like the fountains that channel water throughout the land, I spread entertainment to the people. Right now is an interesting time for an organization known as the Guild. I've no doubt that Kui has told you about us, if you didn't already know. Our organization is involved in many different activities, most of which operate below the view of the authorities of this great empire. Come now. We're above calling each other names, aren't we? The Guild, you see, has recently developed a vacancy in its upper echelons. A man by the name of Gao the Greater has been killed, and with his death, a new leader must be chosen. I intend to replace him in that role, and I need good people to back me. Did you? An interesting claim. And one I'm not sure I believe. You don't match the description we have of the killer. But then, the descriptions are fairly tenuous. If you are the one who killed Gao, then I owe you a favor. 
Consider my reluctance to turn you into the Lotus Assassins a repayment for that debt in full. There is the matter, however, of your friend, Whirlwind. I'm sure you know that he was one of the fighters here and that he left the arena. But do you know why? Whirlwind's past is certainly a colorful one. Did he tell you that he was thrown out of the arena? Public displays of rage and drunkenness, uttered threats of murder, excessive violence, property damage, and I believe several charges of defecating in public. If you trust him, you are a fool. The Black Whirlwind is an impressive fighter, but he is better avoided than confronted. We couldn't let him fight as he was, so he left. His brother, Raging Ox, wisely stayed here and went on to become champion. You could reach that point yourself, you know. Indeed, that's a distinct possibility. To become champion yourself, you will need my support. That means you and I will work together closely. You place yourself in a precarious position, my young friend. I would hate to see your career stagnate. You see... What is that noise? Hey, you can't... Serpent, I'll kill you where you stand! No, you won't, Whirlwind. Just like last time, you will leave. I can see that this polite discussion has concluded, as so many do, in your odorous presence. We may talk again. Perhaps. We're leaving now. You and I have to talk. Alone. It's important. Look, you can't trust Kylo. I know he was probably offering you the world, or maybe all the wine in it if he were really crafty, but... You didn't honestly think you were going to slip down here after that little display, did you, Whirlwind? Step back, Cho. For once in my life, I've got something important to tell someone. You have nothing important to say, you lummox. You've embarrassed Kylon the Serpent, and I'm going to make sure you never get a chance to repeat your performance. I've been waiting for this. Time to cut off the Serpent's tail! He was particularly plucky. It's nice when they stick around longer so you can practice your moves. Not the first time I've gone up against one of Kai Lan's thugs, you know. Not at all. Remember I told you I used to fight in the arena? Well, I was the best there was. Then my brother came to the city and decided he joined the arena too. The arena was about the same as it is now. Kui and Kai Lan were there, and Lucky Cho, too. But he was just a runt back then. My brother became the arena champion. The Raging Ox. They said he retired, but he didn't retire. 
Tire. He was killed. I should know. I'm the one who killed him. Raging Ox was one of Kylon's men. Well, he wasn't always. Kylon approached me first. And when I turned him down, he went to my brother instead. When Ox joined up with Kylon, I stopped getting good matches. Ox was fighting his way to becoming champion, and doing a little work for the guild on the side. He was so cocksure and wouldn't listen to his older brother. Once he fell in with Kylon, he stopped talking to me. Soon Ox became Kylon's enforcer and carried out his bidding. He'd skulk around in robes so no one would know the arena champion was a common thug. One night I followed Ox back to Kylon's. I was drunk and I was mad. I just wanted to tell Ox how dangerous Kylon was, convince him to leave. But Kylon was there. He tried to interfere. I attacked him, and Ox tried to stop me. When it was over, Ox was dead, and my axe was covered in his blood. Kylon just stood there, smiling. I would have killed him if I wasn't so stunned. After that, I left. For the first time in my life, I ran. I ran, and then I drank myself into a stupor that lasted for half a year. You do what you have to in the arena. Just don't fool yourself about working with the Serpent. Lucky Joe's death just put you on the Serpent's wanted list. I'd really like to see Kylon's face if you become arena champion. Of course, I'd rather just kill him. Come on, let's go. I want to hear that you're ready for your next fight. What? This next fight should be fairly simple for you. I once more want to send you up against four opponents. The crowd loves those fights. These are tougher than the students you faced before, but should pose no problem. Are you ready to get started? Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. We found them just like this. You did? Three Reach, the old stableman, found them. He kept everyone else out. We can trust him. What about Cho? Do we know who's responsible? Last I saw of him, he was following Silver Phoenix. He fights next, doesn't he? Replace the men slated for that match with our own. And ensure that their blades are coated with extract from the Ebon Orchid. Even the ancient magic of this place could not neutralize that poison. It will be done. What about Lucky Cho? There are hundreds of people here to see the new fighter. We can't carry the body out of here. Then we don't. You must always use the resources available to you. Blades 
and deadly grace. I do not know who those men were. The fighters I picked for you to face were not guild men, and they certainly lacked poison-coated blades. The wards are useless against poison. That's a danger we have never been able to solve. Those men were Kailans, not mine. I keep myself as far away from that end of things as I can. You have to believe that I look out for my fighters. Just before you came up here, I received word from one of the guildmen from outside the arena. They send their apologies. I believe they feel Kailan's actions were not appropriated to the situation. You shouldn't have to fear assassins again, not after that message. You are not hearing this from me, but tensions have risen between the Serpent and the Guild itself. He's making a bid for control, and some... Factions are quite upset. You may feel caught in the middle, but the weather sages say the eye of the storm is the safest place. We've had a request from the Imperial Army. They want one of our best to help them test out a small group of war machines known as golems. I've decided to put you up against them. I want you to prove that our folks are superior to anything the army could devise. Are you ready to show them what you've got? Excellent! Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. The Imperial Army honors us with a most unique trial! I knew you could defeat those things. The Imperial Army's telling me they figured out some way to improve upon the design, thanks to you. I say stick to traditional soldiers. Sagacious Tien needed no machines to build the Empire. I rushed out notification of this match, and we've had the Outfires shouting themselves hoarse. I hear many nobles will even be in attendance. It's rare that the Silver Division rests balanced against a single victory on the scales of combat, you know. That's nothing compared to the skills of Silver Phoenix, who has soared so high so quickly. Words like those spread like raging flames. Will you face Soldier now? The Silver Division Championship awaits you. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. Phoenix take the Silver Division 
Iron Soldier will not fall easily! Soldier is a worthy opponent. I hope you understand how many warriors have tried to extrapolate him from the Silver Division Championship. Be proud! From here, your battles will be even harder. A test, if you will, to see if you stand a chance against the Ravager. Impress the crowd, and you will have your chance against the Ravager himself. I can promise you that. Surely this was enough! I know the crowd loved that show, but there's no way I can offer you extra just because of that. All your fights are impressive. I know you feel like a... Now that that... The Gold Division is the toughest series of fights in the Empire. Ultimately, you can think of it as a test to see if you're ready to face the Ravager. Your first match will be a rare challenge. There is a style that was banned from the tournament combat five centuries ago. You will face the Phoenix Unity style. That is something best discovered for yourself. Suffice it to say that if you stand against it, the battle will be memorable. I do not believe in outdated prohabitations. As you may see, this style is not fair for single combat, but it is a fair test of a master warrior's abilities. Excellent! Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. The Phoenix Unity is among the rarest of styles. No one person has defeated it yet. Legends say that the Phoenix Unity style was banned from tournaments because it was unbeatable. But I've never put much stock in Legends. That was exactly how I wanted your Gold Division matches to start. You need the people on your side before you can face the Ravager. I was going to do something different, but I've had a request from the Sung Brothers. They said that there's been a, an affluence of the fates and a reemergence of the planets. I'm not quite sure what that means, but if they want to face you, then I have to honor their request. Besides, defeating them is important to your career. I require that any fighter who wishes to face the Ravager be able to defeat all three of the Sung Brothers. Then I know you won't be torn to shreds. Well, at least not before the gong stops ringing, at any rate. The brothers are ready if you are. Excellent! Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match.
Speed, might, and magic will be needed to defeat these brothers three. Three opponents at once, all of them exceptionally skilled. I thought no one could impass them, but you have. Defeating their combinated might has impressed the crowd immensely. You pull in the egregious crowds, it's true, but I can't just break the rules and give you extra silver. I am still accountable for now that th I want to give you a shot at the championship. I really do. I need to convince others, though. I'm going to hold an event so huge that it will rock the reaches of the Empire. The Imperial Engagement. The arena turns upon you. You will be a man alone against a rushing wave of opponents, great and small. You must stand against them all, and when you do, your right to challenge the Ravager will be indisputable. Time to take you down a peg. I think it's going to be a fun challenge. You might even survive if you pace yourself. The concept is simple enough. If you can defeat your foe with exceptious electricity, then you have a moment to collect yourself. If you tarry, then you will be swamped. Are you ready for me to finish the arrangements? If so, we'll get everyone set up. Excellent. Follow me and we'll get you ready for your next match. The Imperial engagement begins! An ogre begins the onslaught!
The towering strength of Sung Boo crashes upon the ring. 